Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi here with another 30 second Photoshop edit using the SR Lounge Action Packs. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to be using the Base Vintage Pack plus the Antique Vintage Pack, which you can both get at srlounge.com. Now, let's get started. For this image and this effect, I think it'd be really cool to create kind of a nice faded black and white look. This is a really classic kind of image, uh, really timeless. So, let's make that look right now. So, what we're going to do first is let's go to our SR Lounge Mixology. I'm going to create a new action to save our settings to and we're gonna call this what should we call it let's call this faded film we're gonna hit record alright I'm gonna put 30 seconds on my clock right here and we're gonna hit start and then I'm gonna go first down to my antique vintage packs we're gonna add a faded black and white so let's do black and white neutral wash and let's also do a black and white neutral punch just to give it a little bit of contrast into it. And I'm going to put the punch on top. And the last thing I'm going to do is just go up to my base vintage pack. I'm going to add a brighten. I'm actually going to drop the brighten probably in between these two. Just to kind of keep that neutral punch right on top. We're done. Going to hit stop with one second left. Awesome. And then I'm going to close my cool timer. Let's do our final. Let's group this up. We're going to hit, uh, just click on black and white neutral punch, hold shift, select black and white neutral wash, select all of our new layer effects, hold alt or option on the Mac, drag in our new grouping icon, and we're going to save this as faded film. We're going to hit OK, and we are done. Let's hit stop. I'm going to delete this, and we're going to test it out. So let's minimize everything. Let's try out our new action, faded film. Cool, works awesome. Let's uh, try this out on a different image. So let's load up something else. So this is another image from the same session. I'm going to apply our faded film effect to it and let's see what we get. Awesome, I love it. If, if you feel like it's too high contrast for some images, it's easy to modify. So just open up the neutral punch and we're just gonna tone down the neutral punch and that's what's gonna kind of lighten up the contrast a bit. So we can tone it all the way down to zero or we can bring it up to say 50. I'm going to bring it up to 50%. Now if you don't like the added contrast, just bust this open and click on the eye so you don't see the added contrast. And then we have just the wash with the brightening effect on it. So I'm happy with our faded film mixology. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys with the next 30 second edit.